Right, the Lark Hill members, the 0 110 Hunters Chase of it, Lark Hill, over three miles, two furlongs. One is Wisdom, Alex Cherry. Two, Cairo, Stu Gray. Three, Thistledown, the Wonder, Patrick Hogan. Four, Tarbell and Vale, Graham Clutterbuck. Five, Rab Corbett, Alex Cherry. Six, Finding Alice Martin Edom. And Dellyway, City Bell, and Ozek Daisy from the Vinny Gerard stable. Yeah, in the rain, they're off at Lark Hill. <laughs> And quickly to the first jump, and a slow jump at the back by both Thistledown the Wunder and Cairo for Stu Gray. But it's the two Alex Cherry horses to take them along. Rab Corbett on the inside of Stable Companion Wisdom. Then the grey horse for Graham Clutterbuck, Timeland Bale, with Finding Alice on that one's outside. On the inside of that Ozark Daisy, just behind that Delaware City Bell. Cairo for Stu Gray behind that, with Thistledown the Wunder off that slow start at the back of the field. Um, Thistle and the winner wasn't very really comfortable over that one either, but it's Wisdom and Rab Corbett to take them along from Finding Alice for Martin Needham on the outside of uh, Graham Clatterbuck's Tarman Vale, the two trainers fought at the last race. Uh, behind that is Delaware City Bell, then comes Ozark Daisy, on the outside of that is Cairo. The jump, but next time we have a faller, Rab Corbett, who was leading the field at the time, has gone, and has left stable companion Wisdom in the front. From Finding Alice, then Timeline Vale, Cairo is out wide, has moved closer. Up the inside is Ozark Daisy, the jump, and there's another showdown by Cairo. Cairo's done to quite a few slow, a few slow jumps in this race already. It's Wisdom the leader from Timeline Vale in second. Then comes uh, Finding Alice with Ozark Daisy up the inside in those green colours. Uh, Patrick Hogan's the Sildon the Wonder. Uh, Davinda, I should say, probably, um, from on the outside, Cairo. Then comes the Delaware City Bell. They jump the next. Another slow jump by Thistledown Davinda at the back of the field. Um, just behind that Delaware City Bell. But it's only six lanes first to last. The loose horse now, uh, Harry and Wisdom in front. Who jumps it well enough. Uh, slow jump by Martin Needham's Finding Alice, who's just behind Graham Clutterbuck's horse, which is uh, Timeline Vale. Kari on those those two's outside. And up the inside of the green colours, Ozark Daisy. About three lengths back to Delaware City Bell. And Patrick Hogan's horse at the back. The thistle under the window hasn't been jumping with much confidence. And uh, jumps it well enough at the back of the field. But he's about ten lengths off the leader now. As Wisdom takes him along for Alex Cherry. So Wisdom from Cairo has now moved up into second place by himself on the inside of those Ozark Daisy. Uh, then comes the Finding Alice and Tomlin and Vale have always been together. Delaware City well behind it and this one the window is now about eight lengths off the last horse and struggling. So Wisdom takes them along. They jump the next and a good jump by Wisdom. They also well and about for Ozick Daisy jumped well from Kari on that one's outside. Then the two grey horses together, Clutterbuck and Needham. That's Tomlin Vale and Finding Alice. Behind it is Delaway City Bell and this one the window I don't think it's gonna be continuing for much longer. A long way behind this pack the the, the rest of the field. So Wisdom, preceded by the loose horse, comes to the next jump and jumps it well enough, but a better jump by Kyrie on the outside for Stu Gray. Then comes Ozark. Daisy, followed by Tom Vale for Graham Clutterbuck. Martin Eden has been pushed along now, finding Alice. Dalloway City Well behind it, and this is all the Vinder. He's still going, but it's not in the picture, and it looks like a long way behind the last horse at this stage. So the, the loose horse still precedes the field. Kyra now sticks his nose in front from on the inside of that wisdom. Then comes Ozark Daisy. Still travelling well. He's Tom Vale. They jump the next, and a good jump by Kyra over the water jump. Uh, pushed along, finding Alice back in fifth place at the back of the field. Dalloway City Bell and Thistle on the Vinder has been pulled up. Loose Horse precedes the field as Wisdom goes back into the lead from Cairo on that one's in outside. On the inside of that is Ozark Daisy in those green colours. Then the Grey Horse in the Welsh flag colours. Timeline Vale, they jump the next. And a bad blunder by Cairo. Has lost two places as a result and possibly three, but it's Wisdom the leader from Timeline Vale and Ozark Daisy. They jump the next and Wisdom is gone. Wisdom falls and went leading the field has left Ozark Daisy in front from Tomlin Vale in second, then comes Cairo who's made a few blunders in third, finding Alice behind that, the jumper next, they all go over well, slightly slow at the back was Delaway City Bell, but there's only five standing now, it's Ozark Daisy the leader for Vinnie Gerard from Tomlin Vale on the outside, finding Alice who's travelling well enough, Cairo's dropped back to fourth place after that blunder, and at the back of the field, Delaway City Bell for Vinnie Gerard. Ozark Daisy, the leader, from now finding Alice for Martin Leader moves to the front. Finding Alice travelling strongly moves to the lead 
from on the inside Ozark Daisy. Then comes Starmline Vale for for Graham Clutterbuck in between the two, the grey horse with the red wash flag colours. Pushed along in fourth Cairo for Stu Gray and to the back of the field Dalloway City Bell for Vinnie Gerard. The loose horse still proceeding the field but running wide. Uh, Finding Alice, they come to the next fence and a slow jump by Finding Alice, but not the, the rest of the field weren't much better. So Finding Alice uh, is being passed now by Ozark Daisy up the inside. In between the two is Timeline Vale. Two lengths back to Cairo with Delaware City Bell starting to get closer. There's about two lengths on first to last as Delaware City Bell now makes a move and comes to the front. Another slow jump by Cairo, and really the jumping of Cairo has let him down in this race. It's Delaware City Bell from Stu Gray's Cairo. Cairo, trying to recover from those jumping errors on the inside that is timeline Bell then finding Ellis a slow jump by the leader but uh, most of the others were slow as well it's Delaware City Bell the leader from Cairo in second then comes finding Ellis trying to run on his Ozark Daisy timeline Bell has dropped to last Delaware City Bell who made that early move but he's coming back to the field now as finding Ellis gets going again and finding Ellis is getting to getting uh, that's the head of steam. Yeah, they jump the next, but another slow jump by Finding Alice and the jumping of some of these horses let them down. Delaware City Bell, the leader. Finding Alice is trying to recover off their slow jump. Out wide, timeline Veil. Then comes Ozark Daisy. Cairo back in fifth. A good jump this time by Finding Alice and Finding Alice by Martin Leading Storms to the front. From on the outside, timeline Veil has always travelled well. Then comes Ozark Daisy. Delaware City Bell has shot his bolt and in the back of the field is Cairo. It's Finding Alice in the front from Tom. Line fell. They come to the next. Good jump for the two leaders, but a better jump by Ozark Daisy back in third. Timeline Daisy is going to then depend on the jump in a better jump by Finding Alice for Martin Needham. It's Finding Alice on the right outside. Timeline Bell trying to get there. Finding Alice is going to hold on, and Martin Needham extracts revenge on Graham Clutterbuck for the last defeat in the last race. Finding Alice wins it from Timeline Vale in second. Ozark Daisy was back in third for uh, Buddy Gerard. Cara made a lot of mistakes back in fourth. Probably if he jumped better, could have been much closer. And the only other finish, finisher was the Buddy Gerard Delaware City Bell back in fifth.